I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal Magazine. We're here at the National Hardware Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now we're in the, also in the Czar wood stain booth. Now most of us know how to apply a wood stain to raw wood and get beautiful results, just gorgeous results. But did you know you can use those same wood stains to upgrade existing painted or stained finishes? What's that technique called? Glazing. Glazing. This is David Moser. He's from Czar Wood Stains, and he's an expert on glazing. So I don't really understand what glazing is. Can you tell me? Yeah, well, glazing is to cover a painted or stained surface to really modify the tone of it, mm -hmm. um, to create more interest in it. It pops the grain and gives it more of an updated look. Cool. So these are already finished surfaces. Already finished surfaces, and it's a simple process by applying some stain on the existing surface, whether it's your cabinet doors, hardwood floors, or molding. This is a really great way to get an on-trend look to old, dated pieces of furniture. So, why don't we have David show us how it's done. Let's start with cabinet doors. Cool. What do you got here? Well, we have two different doors. One is a painted cabinet door and one is a stained and finished cabinet door. And this technique will modify both of those. Absolutely. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Cool. How do you decide what color to use? Well, on lighter surfaces like this, you're going to want mm -hmm. to use a darker color stain so you can see the modified tone and let the wood grain pop. Oh, cool. What about on a painted surface? On a painted surface, like if it's white like this, you could choose any color you want as long as it's darker so you can see that accent within the nice. panel nice. and the distressed areas. All right. Well, let's put some stain on one of these doors. This door has been properly cleaned and it's ready to be glazed. So what we're gonna do, I like to use these foam brushes. We're gonna use a black color stain and just wipe it all into the surface. So you're just really kind of loading it up there, aren't you? Yeah, just get it all through the surface. It doesn't matter how you apply it, really. Just get it on. Do you need to get it on every single surface or can... Well, yeah. it, it, did, it depends what you wanna do. If you just wanna uh, put it in the panel, uh -huh. and wipe off the excess, but here I'm really toning this door and glazing the whole door panel, so I, I like to cover the whole surface. And then once you cover the whole surface, you're going to get a, a dry rag and wipe off the excess. So it doesn't look like a huge, messy slop, bunch of bunch of stain on it anymore. It's right. starting to get some definition. Right. It's fairly easy to do. Uh huh. And. Uh, And you'll see that it really changes the, the color and tone of the door. Uh-huh. But I can still see the grain through that, that, that color. Right. And that's what glazing is right there. It really pops that grain and gives it an updated look. Mm-hmm. It kind of accents edges as well, seems to me. Yeah. It gets in all the distressed areas and grooves and looks nice. Cool. So that's a door with a stain and a clear finish. What about the painted door? What we're going to do is glaze the inside panel. Oh. And I use a foam brush and I'm using a darker color stain. You can choose any color stain you want as long as it's a little bit darker so it accents the, mm -hmm. the panel. So I could use a, 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 a chocolate brown or an orange or anything, right? Absolutely. So I like these foam brushes because it gets right in the crack there. Oh, cool. And then what we're going to do, you're going to take your rag and wipe off the excess. So you're using that that you just applied there kind of as a reservoir for the rest of the panel, or are you going to apply more stain to the whole panel later? No, I'm going to... <clears throat> You get to choose what you want to do. If you want to apply it to the whole door, mm -hmm. it'll accent all the distressed areas in the green, if there is green. Uh -huh. Here, I'm just choosing to do the panel. Cool. Now I'm taking a rag with a little bit of mineral spirits on it, just to wipe off the residual stain where you don't want it. So the, the mineral spirits is like a solvent for this, right? Yeah. It just cleans it up nicely wherever you don't want any stain. What if you take away too much? Can you put that glaze back on? Yeah, you can put it black back on, and uh, that's what the beauty of this is. 
you can start right over if you don't like what you see. So you can just keep on working this until you're satisfied with your glazed look. But this door looks pretty good. And nice. Very good cool. There. So now there we've got the this door, I see that now, and I've you taught me about the painted wooden door, but what what about this? Yes, this is a fiberglass door that was stained gray and glazed white. So really the process on this is to stain it and then you're going to want to apply a polyurethane coating. Mm -hmm. Let that dry and then glaze right on top of the polyurethane and which gives you that accent color glaze right there. This looks great. This is this is you know people are people love these gray tones, don't they? Right. They're very popular and uh, that one turned out great. Nice. So earlier you mentioned that this glazing technique or the two-tone uh, coloring is actually used on flooring. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And here what we're showing uh, is a couple examples of some stained flooring that we're going to glaze using a lighter color glaze over the dark color stain and a darker color glaze on top of the lighter color stain. So the first thing we need to do is pick the color of the stain. That's right. So let's start with this darker panel right here. It was unfinished, so the first thing we did was stained it dark. Once that was dry, we applied a polyurethane coat, and you let that dry. Now, we're going to actually stain the polyurethane, and we're, I'm going to use a white color. So you're staying with this idea of a contrasting color for your glaze. Exactly. So what I'm doing is just, again, it doesn't matter how you get it on there. We're just applying it on the whole surface. Mm -hmm. Make sure you kind of rub it into the grain. Looks like you're working, your oak has kind of an open grain. You're just kind of working it into that. That's right. Nice. And then once that's on there, we're going to wipe off the excess. And you'll see when I wipe off the excess, it's only leaving it in the grain of the wood. Nice. That is really really pretty looking. So is this the same as the door? If you're unhappy with your first application, you could put some more on and, and keep working it? Yeah, that's right. I mean, you can, if you miss a spot, you can go back and touch it up and then wipe off the excess. Nice. Like that. So that's the darker board. What color would you put on this gray one here? Um, I'm going to choose a, a black color stain. And it's the same process, just get it on the surface. And we're wiping off the excess. So it occurs to me, this is a, this is a, a fresh application of both stain, poly, and now this glaze. Now I've got some flooring at home that used to have kind of a two-tone color, but now it's just one-tone color. A lot of pre-finished flooring comes with a two-tone. Uh -huh, that's and, what I have. Yeah, right. And eventually that gets worn out yeah. and you want to refinish it. Well, to get that same look, you're going to want to use this exact technique. Cool. Now, once this glaze coat is dry, you're going to want to protect it by applying one or two more coats of Zar polyurethane. So just like any other floor at that point. That's right. So these are some great results that we got with glazing. And the cool thing to me is it's the same Zar stains that I've been using for years. And it didn't really even look that hard. Uh, it's really not. I think uh, really anybody could do it. Just follow the, the steps. So if I was interested in doing this, where could I find the products to make that happen? You can go to our website at Zar.com. That's it from here. Thanks for watching.